Welcome to the lesson that will get you started with Glogster. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and type in Glogster Education in the Google search. When that pops up, go ahead and click on that first option. In this case, you're coming in as a student, so you would click on I'm a student. Go ahead and type in the school code that should have been provided to you by your teacher. Come up with a nickname, a password, and then confirm that password, and then you would type in your first name. Do not type in your last name. So for example, my name is Chris. I would type in Chris and Chris again. You don't need to be putting your last name out there for the world to see. Notice how it says I am 13 years of age and older. If you're not, it's okay in this circumstance because your teacher in this case is giving you permission. It's for education so there's not a concern. You would click on that and agree to the terms of use. After you've typed in all the information, you would then click sign up. Once you've gotten a nickname and a password, you no longer have to go through this. You just come to this window and type in your nickname and password. You will need to type in the characters and then you can click sign up. There is a high possibility that your nickname may have to be changed quite frequently because if the nickname is taken, you're going to have to change it. Once you get to this window, you're pretty much in. Your nickname and password are okay. Now notice it says you can edit your name for better identification and easier communication with your teacher and classmates. I don't want to change this. I'm going to leave it as Chris Chris. However, if there's more than one Chris in the room, you might put Chris in the last initial just so that you can distinguish between the two students. I'll go ahead and click Save and you're now ready to start creating your Glog. Once you have your username and password, open up the password document that was provided to you in that folder and you want to go ahead and type in your username and password and keep it safe in that Glog folder in case you forget your username and password. Try not to bother the teacher that you forgot your username and password. This is a responsibility thing. You are responsible for keeping track of your username and password by maintaining it on this document. Until next time, you have a fabulous day.